This is insane, guys. BlackRock announces mass layoff 1.5 trillion in asset loss. It says BlackRock, which is the one of the world's leading providers of investment, advisory, and risk management solutions, according to Bloomberg, saw their assets under management drop significantly in the last year. The firm's assets dropped from 9.5 trillion down to 8 trillion, seeing a 1.5 trillion dollar loss in assets. BlackRock also, unfortunately, plans to let go of around 500 of the workforce in order to try to mitigate the current market conditions, with around 500 people being let go. That's around 3% of the entire workforce. BlackRock has seen one of the worst performances in many years. The first half of 2022 brought an investment environment that we have not seen in decades, said Fink in a second quarter earnings report. Investors are simultaneously navigating high inflation, rising rates, and the worst start to the year for both stocks and bonds in half a century. BlackRock being one of the strongest and largest financial institutions in the world, experiencing such tremendous stress gives great insight on what other smaller and less established firms are likely experiencing. Now, the fact that a firm like BlackRock is laying so many people off and seeing such losses honestly makes me very uneasy. Not only because this is one of the biggest firms in the world, but also because a lot of people's retirements are tied into this. This is going. We talked for many years on why and how some of the biggest hedge funds and firms are going to see turmoil, and it looks like it's all coming to life. Squeeze fundamentals. This could be huge. CEO Adam Marin secure the exclusive NFT rights for pre-sale tickets, exclusive popcorn bucket, and exclusive icy flavors. And berry and sour lemon wasp. AMC, please and thank you. This is in regards to the Marvel Studio, Ant Man and the Wasp. Quantumania, only in theaters February 17th, which is coming up very soon here. Now, what do you guys think about this idea? Are you guys sort of over the whole NFT thing? I mean, obviously, the majority of people that were very involved in crypto and NFTs at this point are most likely not really as interested in them. But it still doesn't mean that it's not a good way for AMC to raise some extra money, even if it's, you know, sort of cheap, sort of a cheap NFT. I don't know. Comment down below what you think.